All right, all right, welcome back everybody. It's been a couple weeks since I've had a chance to upload to YouTube. I've just been busy, kind of life gets in the way. Sometimes that happens, but I got an opportunity to film today. So we're here in the backyard, turf type tall fescue, looking really good. Color, density, everything. I'm very happy with it at this point, being that this is kind of the time in the Midwest, even the transition zone kind of where I'm at, where the lawns just sort of go to hell, especially if you've got a cool season lawn, drought, heat stress, uh, root decline. I mean, there's just so many things that are, that are working against the lawn, especially if you've got a cool season lawn when it's really hot and you're not getting a lot of rain. However, we have had quite a bit of rain here recently, um, which is not typical for July. So um, as you can see, it's, it's really cloudy. Um, for the last week and a half, we've been getting kind of some spotty showers. Even late June, we had like six inches of rain one week. So um, that has done wonders, at least, you know, for me in my situation with keeping this grass healthy and out of dormancy, it's actually helped a lot. Even though I am irrigated, I really like the rain and prefer that. Even while this looks really good, I have not applied any fertilizer to this lawn, any granular fertilizer since mid-March. I put a pound of nitrogen down mid-March and then probably sometime in uh, mid-May, I did a half a pound Actually, I take that back. I did a full pound of potassium, and then I've done a couple of foliar applications of the Umax and the Peters Triple 20, somewhere around a tenth of a pound, and that's it. That's all the inputs I put on here. So I've got about a, a little, you know, between a pound, maybe a pound and a half of nitrogen on this lawn in the back so far this year, and the color is really holding on really well. Um, and there's no sunlight really to kind of amplify that a little bit. Um, but overall, I'm really happy with the way this looks so far this year. We'll see what happens going into August. That's usually when that's uh, you're kind of holding on by your bootstraps, hoping that your lawn doesn't die. So let's go check out the front. You see this nice trench that runs all the way up through the lawn? AT&T came back and ran the fiber to the side of my house. They had to pop and go underneath the driveway on the other side and trench, of course, this entire section right here all the way around the side of my house. And so this was about five days ago. It was Friday, at t was here. They ran that, that trench through the middle of my lawn. It looked horrible. Um, what I did was I came back in with, hey, there's the sun. I came back in with some sand. I kind of got out a little bit of the turf that was tore up. I went ahead and cleaned up the debris that was in there. I threw some sand in there and it started to naturally fill in on its own. That just kind of goes to show you how aggressive this bluegrass fills in. This is a mix of Everest, Midnight, and New Glade Kentucky bluegrass. And just in five days, it has almost consumed that trench line. If you can see it behind me, it's almost consumed that trench line with just a little bit of sand added in there. So a couple things I need to get done today. Um, uh, this lawn, uh, because it's been so cloudy, there's still dew <laughs> on this lawn. It's actually like 1.30 in the afternoon, um, and there's still dew on the grass blades, which is not good. That's, you can get fungus that way. Something I learned this week, actually, from uh, Pro Turf Talks, if you don't follow them on Instagram, they give you a lot of really good tips on taking care of your lawn, things that you wouldn't really think of on your own. But um, what I've learned is that I can run my sprinklers for like one cycle, maybe like a three-minute cycle, um, on each zone just to knock the dew off the grass blades because for, according to Spin Martin of uh, Pro Turf Talks is the dew is really what is uh, conducive to starting the fungus. The fungus starts with the dew. So um, great advice. I appreciate it. I've been doing that. I didn't do it this morning and I still have dew on my lawn. So um, I need to get out the rotary scissors. I need to get the cal trimmer. I need to mow this. It's been uh, like three days since my last mow, so let's go ahead and mow it and then talk a little bit about heat stress. And I'll kind of show you some of the problem areas I've got going on on my lawn just from, you know, the amount of sun and heat and dog spots and some of the other stretchers I have going on in the front yard. So let's get this yard cut.
tell me you're mowing a wet lawn without telling me you're mowing with a wet lawn. Got that caked onto the mower. Well, the sun decided to peek out there for just a little bit while I was mowing. Can I give you a better view of the stripage and kind of the color of the lawn? It looks really good. I haven't applied a whole lot to this recently. Um, sometime around the 4th of July, I did the multi-purpose 402, which I often do in the summer every couple weeks. Um, but with as much as we're growing right now, with the rain that we've had, I'm probably not going to apply any nitrogen. Maybe do a little bit of feature just for some micronutrients and some, and some color. But for the most part, this lawn doesn't really need anything other than sort of my maintenance fungicide plan that I've been going and using for the majority of the year. But I do have some trouble spots kind of in the corners by the parkway where the concrete is kind of heating up the grass. You can see I've got a couple spots right here. It's looking a little bit stressed and kind of all down. The sidewalk here you can see where you know just naturally it's just going to be hotter next to the concrete i do have some spots actually where um since the last time i filmed i had some nuts edge coming up you can kind of see some bronzing in there where the nuts edge was but if you can see this area right in here and this area kind of right where you can you can tell where you've got low spots a lot of times with nuts edge because where the water tends to sit and doesn't drain as well the nuts edge or the water grass i guess that's where it gets its name uh, the nuts edge will start to come up a little bit. So the yellow nuts edge that was there, I noticed it coming up about a week ago, maybe a little bit longer than that, two weeks. I kind of let it go for a little bit just to kind of see where the problem areas were. Uh, using a product called Triad TZ, it has sulfentrazone as one of the active ingredients in there. You can also use halsofuron. Uh, sulfentrazone's worked really well for me. I just went ahead and did a blanket application over the entire lawn, uh, roughly a one ounce per thousand square feet. So three ounces to treat this whole front yard. And I haven't had an issue with the nuts edge coming up since. And all of the nuts edge that we did have is, uh, is dying out. You usually see the results of that application usually within about 24 hours of putting that down. So hope you enjoyed that mowing montage. Haven't done one in a while. Um, lawn looks fantastic, especially given, hey, it's mid July. Um, it's been hot, it's been humid. Haven't had a lot of sun. Um, no fungus really to note, aside from a couple of concentrated areas where I noticed some activity going on. Nip that in the bud real quick with a little bit of fungicide. You're going with a curative rate, take care of it as soon as you've seen it. It's not going to spread, it's not going to affect anything else, just got to keep an eye on it. So especially this time of year. I hope you guys enjoy the mowing montage, haven't done one of those in a long time. Um, just doing a double fat stripe, midweek mow, long passes, trying to get it done quick. Um, because I don't have a lot of time to spare, especially during the week. I'm doing a lot of mowing on my lunch break most of the time, if I am doing it. Or it's late in the evening when it's almost dark, which I've been known to do quite a bit. Um, but I hope you guys enjoy the video. This is just me kind of messing around on my lawn. If you guys have any questions about kind of what I got going on, maybe some tips and tricks on, you know, how to get your lawn to look this way, shoot me some comments. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. And uh, maybe I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching.